everyone, it's Diana Minerva and I have something really exciting to share with you today. So today we're going to be making one of our Minerva exclusive patterns and today we're making the Savannah dress. Now the team here at Minerva have been hard at work these past few months working on our debut range of Minerva exclusive patterns. Now each one of these patterns comes with a full colour instruction booklet bonus tips, a free online sew along and a woven label and the instruction book will tell you how and when to put the label in. Now the size range comes in misses and women's. So the misses size range has a bust size or cup size up to B and the women's size range is drafted up to a D cup. Now this roughly equates to a size range from 2 up to 36, so it's a really good size range there. Now should you like more ideas and inspiration, there are videos over at Minerva of what you can make the Savannah dress in. Now the Savannah dress is suitable for fabrics with a stable weight and a fair and moderate amount of stretch. So you're looking at fabrics such as a French terre, such as this one, a Ponte Roma, a scuba, maybe a sweater knit, a textured knit, or maybe a stretch velvet. Now you've got lots of ideas there to go out. Now today we're going to be using this Minerva exclusive loop back French terre in scattered fronds. So I'll link these products below if you wish to sew along with me using this fabric. Now, should you wish to make this pattern, or if you've made this pattern and you want to share it with us, remember to include the hashtag Minerva exclusive patterns or hashtag Savannah dress. We'd love to see your makes. Now, before we get started, remember to wash and prepare this fabric. Then when you've done that, we're ready to go and cut our pattern pieces together. So let's go and do that now. Here are our pattern pieces for our dress. So here we have the front. So we're going to cut one piece on the fold and the fold line is here. Make a note of your markings. Then here we have the back. Again, you're going to cut one piece on the fold. The fold is here. Note your markings. Here we have your side front. You're going to cut two on the straight grain. This is the straight grain here. Make a note of your markings. And the side back, again, you're going to cut two on the straight grain. The straight grain is this way. Note all your markings. Here we have your armband. You're going to cut two pieces. The straight grain is this way. Here we have the neck band, you're going to cut one on the fold and the centre fold is here. This here is the centre back, make a note of these markings here. Here we have the pockets, you're going to cut four pockets, so cut two pairs, note your notches and your circles. And here we have the fusing, the interfacing, so you're going to cut two of these. This is for the pocket opening, note these notches. Now you're ready to begin making your dress. So first of all, you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool and check that your needle is sharp. Now I'm using a ballpoint needle today, size 90. I will include this with some of the product description below. Now when you've done that, you want to take your front piece, which is piece B, and our first job is to fuse the interfacing to the pocket opening just here. So let's do that first of all. Now we're going to add on our pockets. So with your pockets right sides facing the right side of the front, at the pocket marking here, here we have a V mark. So we're going to place our pocket on like this. We're going to stitch from the V mark outwards to here, stitch down the seam allowance. Now it's 1.5 centimetre seam allowance on this pattern to the end of the pocket. And here where you've just come in at this V point, we're just going to snip into that corner there. Now we're using a stretch fabric so you do want to stretch stitch in place. You can alternatively use a zigzag stitch, make it slightly smaller and also your stitch smaller and have a play around before you begin. So we're starting at this notch part here. Back tight to begin. 
out into the same allowance, pivot, and we're going to stitch down the same allowance to the end here of this pocket. And then you're just going to snip into there where you've just pivoted, not too far, but just enough so that there's some movement. Now press the seam allowance towards the pocket. Now we're going to understitch the seam to the pocket a couple of millimetres away from that seam that you've just created on the inside. Now press the pocket to the inside, then place the remaining pocket right sides facing down on top of the pocket that you've just stitched like this. Now we're going to stitch that in place. When you've done this, you can overlock or zigzag finish the edge of the pockets. Now, base the pocket to the side seams, just within the 1.5 cm seam allowance, and do the same at the top of the pocket also. Align side front. This is piece C with your front piece like this. So if you lay them out so you can see it the right way up, here we have our notches, flip it over and pin it in place. When you've done this, we're going to stitch it in position with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, and then you can edge finish, either zigzag or overlock your seam. Be careful not to catch in your pocket when you get to this point here. Now you're going to place the side bag E on the centre bag F like this. So you want right sides facing. You're going to align them in the same way that you did your front side pieces. We're going to stitch it with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, then overlock or edge finish and press to the sides. Now line up your side seams, making sure that you match up your notches. Sew the seam in place. Now with right sides together, sew the short edges of your armbands together with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. When you've done this, press that seam open and flat, then we're going to fold the whole armband in half lengthways with wrong sides facing like this and give it a press. Now we're going to take our armbands and we're going to pin them to our armholes. Now your notch wants to be matched up with the shoulder point here and the seam with the underarm seam here. Make sure that it fits nicely, so you may need to just stretch on it just ever so slightly, not very much. And then when you've done that, we're going to stitch that in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Then after, we're, we're going to trim it down to one centimetre. Now top stitch the band to the armhole so the seam is pressed up towards the uh, dress and you're top stitching it just on the edge here, three millimetres away from the band. Now bring the two short edges of your neck band together like this and we're going to stitch this seam in place. Open up that seam and press it flat. Then fold your whole neckband in half with wrong sides facing and give it a press. Now you're going to pin your neckband to your neckline. So match your centre back. Your shoulder notches here line up with your shoulders. And then here at the front, 
I find it's best if you find a halfway point and a halfway point in your band also and pin that. Then you're going to stretch on it slightly to help ease it in and fit at the front. So stretch on it slightly and pin it all in position before we stitch that in place. Now stitch the neckband to the neckline with a 1.5cm seam allowance. Then when you've done this, you're going to trim it down to 1cm. Now when you've overlocked around your neckline, you can add in your Minerva Maker label. So put it at the centre back, so you'll have to find where centre back is. And if you've placed your seam where it should be at the centre back here and made sure that it's bang central, you can use that as a guide. Stitch it along here like this. Then you're going to press your neckline down flat and we're going to top stitch the band to the neckline three millimeters away from the seam edge like we did with our sleeve bands. So let's do that now. Now to hem the bottom of your dress, you can overlock it or zigzag finish and turn up 2.5 centimetres. Alternatively, if you don't have an overlocker, you could turn it under and then turn it under again, still equaling 2.5 centimetres and stitch it in place like this. So here is the finished dress. I think it's a lovely shape. I love the uh, shape of the pockets as well. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me. Please remember to include any of your makes if you make any of the Minerva exclusive patterns along with the hashtag, hashtag Minerva exclusive patterns and hashtag Savannah dress. I look forward to seeing what you've all been making. Remember to watch out for any new patterns as they arrive. Well, that's all from me for today, but I hope to be back soon with another sew along for you. Bye for now.